Hey, what's up? This is Scott, and this is Core Daily. And uh, I guess today I bring to you a cautionary tale. <laughs> um, I was reminded of this the other day because some friend of mine was talking about getting the high score on his old uh, Space Invaders cabinet that he bought years and years ago. And he was all stoked about it and sent me pictures on his phone. And, you know, I was happy for him, whatever. I haven't played Space Invaders in a long time. But it reminded me of when I was 10. All right, I'm 10 years old. The year is 1979. And my dad is buying Space Invader cabinets and getting ready to start his his video game arcade business. Like that was the beginning of it. Space Invaders was the first machine we ever bought. So they were often in the garage, sometimes in the house, but usually in the garage. And I had an older brother. He's 10 years older than me. So he would have been 20, maybe 19 or 20. And we got the Space Invaders cabinet. It was a stand-up cabinet. Put it in the garage, put a stool up there next to it so everybody could reach the controls and whatnot. And I'll never forget this one night. My brother, who, again, 10 years older, never wanted to do anything with us younger kids, all right? I had sisters, I had another brother, and then me, and he just never seemed that interested because, of course, he isn't. He's almost 20, and the rest of us are dumb kids. We're 10. Why would he want to do too much? You know, you're you're about to start your adult life and, and whatever. Um. But this one night, and this is this is why it's important I mention the Space Invaders things first. This one night, he says, hey, do you guys want to play hide and seek? And I don't remember the circumstances. If he was babysitting us, he might have been. There may have been like a, you know, my parents went somewhere and he was in charge. In fact, that's probably what it was. <laughs> now that I think about it a little bit harder. So here's what he did. does. He says, let's play hide and go seek. I'll be it. Meaning you guys go hide. Count to 30. Or I'll stay in here. I'm going to be here in the house. I'm going to count to 30. You all run and hide, and then I'm going to come find you. Okay? And it was me, my other siblings, and at least one or two neighbor kids. All right? Stoked. We're like, man, look at this. This adult in our life, he's going to play hide-and-go-seek with us, and this will be super fun, and we know all the best hiding places. And we'd say, I remember even one of the kids saying, can we go anywhere we want? He says, you can go anywhere you want. You probably know where the story's going. So we go out there, we hear him start, 30, 29, 28, like that, he's counting down. We peel out of the house, and we're all like all over the place, hiding trees, uh, back behind some guy's garage, behind some car up the road, whatever. And we're all waiting, and we're pretty sure the 30 seconds is up, and then we're kind of, because he's out there, he must be looking for us. Nothing. So I start sneaking around, trying to see what's going on, don't really see any activity. I don't want to be the first one caught, so I'm sitting, you know, uh, sitting still as best I can, but I'm still like, where is he? Has anyone else been caught? Once in a while, I hear somebody go, hey, you know, one of the other kids. <laughs> and I'd go, I haven't seen him yet. You know, we'd kind of like have these little squealy yell out moments where we were trying to inform each other that we're still here, we're, we're not caught yet. And this went on for probably 15 minutes. As a kid, it felt like an eternity. So it just felt like forever. And I'm like, there's no way my brother's this bad. How could he be this bad at this game? But we were in this position where we didn't want to find out. We wanted, we thought this was part of the trick. If I lurched out in front of the car to see what was going on too hard, he's going to be there and I'm going to be the first one caught and then I lose the game. And that just seemed untenable. That seemed like the wrong way to live your life. Another five, six minutes goes by. It starts to become kind of terminal. You're just like, what is, what is going on? So I decide to sneak toward the house and just see if I can see where he is, you know? So I'm sneaking toward our house, and in the distance, I hear these sounds. You might be familiar with them. Off, muffled a little bit, but definitely off in the direction of the house. As I get closer to the house, I see that most of the house lights are off, but the garage light and the windows leading to the garage are all lit in there. And I also see a little bit of light flashing of some kind. Don't know what it is. So we're creeping around trees. We're like, what's going on? The closer we get, the more I start to make out this sound. And I peek through the window. And there's my brother sitting on a stool playing how many, I don't know how many rounds of, of Space Invaders while we were distracted trying to hide from him. He had no intention of finding us. <laughs> He's the single worst babysitter I ever had. I'm trying to think of a worse one. I can't. Oh, there was one. We're not talking about that here, though. <laughs> but yeah, that was his little trick. So 
you know, video games for all their positive effects on my life. This time was was just a little annoying. So thanks, Mark. That's my brother's name. Uh, may may there be a there'll be a special uh, there'll be special seating for people like you in the afterlife. <laughs> um, but also, it's a good reminder that when you're kids back then, nobody gave a crap. My parents were like, whatever. We were latchkey as hell, and he could go play a game and let us run around the neighborhood and pretend like we were hiding probably for hours and get away with it because those were the days we lived. All right, thanks for indulging my stupid little story. Uh, And now I'd like to show you a video of a dude freaking out in prison uh, during my playthrough of Octopath Traveler 2. Yeah, that's right, two of these in a row. Uh, The the, the voice acting and the uh, melodramatic tone of this game cracks me up. So you might enjoy this as well. Thanks a lot, and we'll see you tomorrow. Take it back. I've got no use for your filthy scribblings anyhow. Help! Guards! He's gonna kill me! Get more at frogpants.com.